guys hi there how are all of you i hope you all are fine well my name is yusuf and i'm back on yusuf reacts well guys today i'm back again with a very interesting movie review for you people well guys if i talk about it what is going to be the thing that we guys are going to be discussing for today well today the thing or the movie that we guys are going to be discussing is going to be something that is i would say extremely you know talked about it's the talk of the town and there has has been a lot of wait as far as people are concerned as far as this particular movie is concerned today we guys are going to be talking about the flash the flash movie that is really round the corner as we have entered 2023 and everyone is you know literally anticipating for this movie and literally just cannot wait to watch what this movie has to offer now there would be a lot of questions that would come in everyone's mind that why is this movie even so talked about and what is the thing that makes this movie stand out first of all the most important thing that we talk about is what the most important thing that we guys need to discuss over here is the storyline of this particular movie now why am i saying it that this movie eventually stands apart as compared to the rest of it it is because of one very important reason and what is that reason that reason is this that in this particular movie we are going to be seeing Ezra Miller as the flash we would also uh, there is a speculation that we would also see Barry Allen the other one means Grant Gustin as the Barry Allen and now that is something which is really you know a glimpse that we are going to be seeing two flash maybe at one time then we have the appearance of Ben Affleck as appearing as Batman but we also have Keaton being back as Batman so now this also adds a bit of flair into it even if we go and scroll in through the you know the trailer or the promo of the particular movie we can clearly see glimpses of the past in in which we can maybe see a glimpse of Clooney being as Batman we can even see a glimpse of that old superman that was there the renowned superman that we guys always you know have been fond of so there can be a lot of things that we can expect from this movie yes in this particular movie we come across supergirl also being present over there so if i talk about it this movie has a lot to offer now coming to the theme line what is the thing or what basically is the thing that eventually has everyone's attention towards it flash we all know is the that particular individual who has the ability to run with the speed of light now because of that particular thing flash has really given a new imaginative horizon to the science fiction movies that were there and time travel if you guys know and if you guys talk about it it has been something that has always been a cause of fascination as far as you know humans are concerned no matter from whatever age they are they literally are always fascinated by time travel and when we see this particular character who is easily able to do this particular thing that makes this character even more you know intriguing wanting to know of over here if we see this particular thing up we clearly see that flash eventually realizing when he gets the powers he travels back in time to save his mother from getting murdered now eventually he time travels but eventually he prevents it in order to do that particular thing he opens another multiverse now this is something that is really the plot of this particular movie and that is something that really you know when we talk about it or when we hear or when we listen we can clearly see that this is something that really in itself is quite intriguing and it would have people you know come out of their you know imagination they would you know think out of the box and that is what this movie has to offer and that is where this multiverse opens up and where he comes across you know and maybe another Barry Allen of himself maybe two kinds of different batmans that are there so there is a lot that is going on we can you know even from the glimpses of it we can see the old batmobile that was there so all in all if i talk about it this movie has a lot to offer 
Yes, there are a lot of other things that are also going along when we talk about DC Universe. We can clearly see that uh, because of the new change that has tend to happen and uh, because of that particular thing and before of because of Mr. Gunn taking over, there are a lot of things that are going on. Now everyone is, you know, going on with it, which project is going to go on, which project is not going to go on. But if we talk about The Flash, this is going to be their first project that is going to go along under his supervision. Vision. Although it was something that had been planned, there were a lot of other movies that were there along with it which had got cancelled. So this is what the whole thing is going about. So a lot of things, a lot of you know uh, happenings that are expected from this particular movie. Yes after watching it even before that i am someone who is really fond of the flash so this is the t-shirt that i really wanted to show you guys have a look at it because of the fact that i'm also really excited and i'm really you know happy to hear that finally we'll get to see the flash back and this time the flash is not going to be in that comic sense that he was there as far as you know the justice league was concerned if you talk about the justice league the snyder cut was something that was more i like liked it off but before that the one we didn't want it wasn't good enough but anyhow the flash this time getting a solo appearance on the screen that is something which is quite intriguing in itself i hope you guys like my video up you guys like the review up i want you guys to give your comments down there because of the fact that who is your particular favorite obviously if you want uh, because of the fact that i even remember i saw a glimpse of christopher reed's superman so if his appearance would also be there i would really say that that is something because of the fact that superman was ultimately you know he was the one who really personified superman on the screen and in such a manner that no one else has ever done after that anyhow guys this is me used to saying goodbye to you people i want you people to subscribe to the channel if you have not done it kindly do so i'll be saying goodbye to you people take care bye